The Windows 11 Release Information website shows that previous H2 releases occurred between September and November. With Windows 11 24H2 right around the corner, now seems like a good time to quickly review some of the new features and identify the differences from 23H2. We will cover the new setup routine, the ability to load a network driver during OOBE, Windows Explorer changes, what's removed from 24H2, and other 24H2 changes and differences. Windows 11 24H2 now has a new setup routine similar to the one for the upcoming Windows Server 2025. At the Select Setup option screen, you can also choose to use the previous version of Setup if desired. You now have to acknowledge that you are performing a clean installation by checking the I agree everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings checkbox. At the Select Image screen, I'm selecting Windows 11 Pro. And being model citizens, we have fully read the license terms, right? Select the target disk on which to install Windows. The Ready to Install screen echoes back your installation choices and reminds you that this is a clean load installation. Click Install to enjoy and be mesmerized by the Install Windows 11 Pretty Blue screen. Following setup, we now enter the OOBE out of box experience. New to 24H2 is the Install Driver button to allow the installation of a network driver if necessary. The Let's Connect You to a Network screen will only appear if the OOBE does not detect an internet connection. The remainder of the OOBE is the same as earlier releases of Windows 11. To help show some of the changes with Windows Explorer, I have 23H2 and 24H2 side by side with 24H2 on the right. The right click context menu for 24H2 now has the words cut, copy, rename, share, and delete under the action icons to help identify their purpose. 24H2 now has the Compress To to allow creating zip, 7-zip, and tar archives. Additional options provide some control and customization for each archive format. 23H2 and earlier only have the Compress to Zip option. The Copilot icon is now on a taskbar and the application runs in a separate window, whereas 23H2 Preview was a flyout from the right side of the screen. The Quick Menu now has Energy Saver and Live Caption icons and now scrolls so it does not necessitate editing settings. Windows 24H2 has removed some lesser used applications, including one that's been a staple of Windows since its inception. The applications no longer included for 24H2 are Calendar, Cortana, Mail, Maps, Movies and TV, and Tips. The beloved but not often used WordPad, known to some a write.exe is gone. Windows 24H2 users should be aware of some other notable changes. The OS drive is now BitLocker encrypted by default. This change is reflected in disk management and can also be verified with the get-bitlocker-volume commandlet. 
the privacy and security screen has a new device encryption section that also reflects BitLocker status. sudo super user do is now included under system for developers. VBScript and Steps Recorder, both of which Microsoft has announced would be deprecated in future Windows releases, can now be removed from under System, Optional Features. There are three new optional features that can be installed. Azure Arc Setup, Legacy Console Host, and WMIC. Under Windows Security, additional security and system stability are achieved by disallowing unsigned drivers and plugins from loading into the local security authority. There is a new local group named OpenSSH Users that allows members to remotely connect to the computer using SSH when OpenSSH server is installed and enabled. Windows Sandbox now reflects the same version and build number as the host. In Windows 23H2, the sandboxed OS reflected version 22H2. These new features and differences are not all inclusive, as some new features are only present on new Copilot Plus PCs with the NPU capable. Snapdragon X series CPU. Some of those features include Recall, Co Creator, Live Captions, and Windows Studio Effects. However, even on regular AMD and Intel CPUs, the Windows 11 24H2 release should be an exciting upgrade for all consumer and commercial users. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.